Well, this is part two of how to put your book cover into your ebook for Kindle. And um, I had to go really quickly in the previous one, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit and repeat a few things. We were in the source code in your text editor of the file that you created in Kindle. Now what we had to do is go to find the tag that said body text equals pound 0000. zero, 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 zero. Now those zeros all mean the color of the text and so it's all black. We went at the end of that body text tag and hit the return a few times. Then what we wanted to do is add the code, the image source and the alt tag, which is called the alternate name of your cover image. And for this tutorial, we're calling our cover cover.jpg. Now that coding is img space src equals quote cover.jpg quote another space alt equals quote cover quote space forward slash bracket. Now I know this all sounds very confusing and it will be on the Unruly Guides website. It is also on um, YouTube and the comment tag. We also need to put in a break and this is a Kindle page break. It doesn't need to be done for EPUB and that is bracket MBP colon, not a semicolon but a colon, page break space forward slash bracket and so you need this entire segment right there. Once you have this done, then you need to save the file. And you can just save over the top of the other one. Now to get this to work, you need to upload the HTML file and the cover image together in a zip format back into the Kindle desktop publishing program. Or I mean the Kindle um, direct publishing program. Now everything that I work with is in our DIY formatting kit and you can see it here. This is the file that we just saved and here's the cover image and it just happens to be in a different folder. So to make this easier for myself I'm just going to scoot yeah. it over there. So now I want to combine the HTML file with all the images that are going with this document and in this particular one it's just the cover and it is named cover.jpg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both files and on a Macintosh, you can actually right click and you can actually um, compress these two items. The other way to do this is you can open up your Stuff It Expander or Stuff It Archive and also um, for the PC it's called WinZip. And you need to compress it into a zip file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it here and I'm just going to use my Stuff It Archive. I'm going to make a new file. I'm just going to call it new because that makes it easier. I'm going to save it to the same folder where my kit is and I'm just going to put it in the tutorial and I'm just going to name it new zip. New zip. So now when I want to add, I go add and I want to add this file which is the HTML and go open and then I want to add the cover. So now it is saved. So we scoot back over to the KDP program and remember we were in a, a new title one document and you scroll back to the bottom. Now you need to choose your digital rights management. You can change it here if you want to, but you have to select a radio button to be able to upload a document. So now this time when we browse for the book, we're going to look for the zip file because that's actually the page and the image and we're going to go open and we're going to upload the book and it may take a little while so just go get a cup of coffee and wait. And you can see that it uploaded successfully. Sometimes this will give you an error and say that it timed out and to make sure that the file is less than 50 megabytes and that's okay sometimes all you have to do is go back to browse and re-upload it and then it works. So we're going to preview the book and you can see right here that as it comes up it indeed has the cover. And as we go to the next page, it shall go to chapter one, and it has the breaks, and it does have the page breaks, which we need. Now, if you want to adjust any of the paragraphs, the spacing, and the indents, that's part of the CSS style. You can also do it directly in the HTML. So that's basically how you add a book cover. We thank you for listening, and for more tips, visit unrulyguides.com. Have a great day.